he's a ninja. Ooh, that guy's hurt. He's a cowboy Indian ninja. Hello, welcome up back to you, me in the movies tonight. <laughs> we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy, granddaddy the dudester. Coming in hot. What are we watching? Are you okay? I don't know. I just got a little tongue tied there. Okay. We're watching Billy Jack. The pop culture icon from the 60s and 70s. Never heard of him. By Tom Laughlin. Tom Laughlin? Yeah, Tom Laughlin. That's what I said. Not Laughlin, Laughlin. It's spelled Laughlin. Yeah, we're watching Billy Jack. There is four Billy Jack films. We're watching the second one called Billy Jack. Man, so cool. He had two first names. Billy Jack. Okay. And I, other than that, I don't know Jack about Billy Jack. Is it like a western? It's like a modern day western. It's like a '60s modern day western. Yeah, it's like takes place in the present time in the '60s, '70s, but it's western style. Okay. Right? At least that's what I understand about him. Let me look at it. it looks like a Western. Cool. All right. Well. Well. Can't wait to watch it. Should we jump in and check <laughs> out what Billy Jack's all about? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe, and if you want to be like the Dudester. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of our special request slots. This is Dudester's last request, so we thank um, him for all the requests he's Dudester. given us. Dudester, thank you so much. And, uh, but yeah, I might have an open slot, so check it out. Patreon's down below. You can also get early access, full income, access to polls, helps pick a watch next. Click on there. Check it out. All right. Let's watch Billy Jack. Let's do it. Starting off strong. The Pontiac. Lincoln? Did you catch the... Um, doesn't matter. Car. Morning, Cole. What brings you out this hour? They find your daughter. Oh no. Where? Hate Ash Bragan? Yeah. They're flying her into Phoenix. Gonna take my car and go down and get her? She's alive. Damn it, Poser just called and told me he'd be out at Box Canyon in half an hour. It's illegal for anyone to hunt wild Mustang. How much are the dog food companies paying for Mustang meat now? Six cents a pound. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if Barbara would think it was worth it. For six cents a pound? Probably not. Burn. Is there really that many wild Mustangs out there? Back in the 60s? Don't know. Such majestic creatures. Wild horses... Are they native? Oh, jeez. Oh, ouchie. Oh, ouchie. No horses were harmed in the filming of this <laughs> film. A couple of them just tripped. I wonder what the downside to the wild horses is. I mean, obviously, if they're in a pasture eating somebody else's food, that's an issue. And maybe they... They run through fences, which could be an issue, is there, I guess. Is there really, are there packs of wild horses still out there today, you think? Or have they all been c captured and tamed? I bet there's some somewhere, but probably not many anymore. Right, because horses are native to North America, right? Uh, don't know. If there are still wild horses out there, there were probably domesticated horses that just got loose and never were caught again and then reproduced, oh. right? Uh, horses aren't... What are horses native to? <laughs> Where the hell do horses come from? Spain? Oh, well, they were originally evolved in North America before traveling across the Bering Strait into Asia and further west. Hmm. So I was right. Okay. I believe you. This feels more like a TV show. It feels like a TV show? Mm hmm Come on now, Bernard. Get your ass up out of that truck. Get up there and start shooting. Please, Dad, you... I you know I can't shoot. Now! Can't shoot. It doesn't want to shoot a horse. Probably doesn't want to shoot a horse. 
Shoot, damn you. I can't. They're majestic creatures. You somebody riding up on him? I'm gonna take it. This is Billy. Billy Jack. You're illegally on Indian land. I'm sorry about that. What the I guess we just got caught up in the chase and uh, crossed over without knowing it. You're a liar. Yeah, you got a whole, like, stable situation there happening. When policemen break the law, then there isn't any law. Just a fight for survival. Uh, Mr. Posner, I got no authority on a federal Indian reservation. Drop it and die. <laughs> we got him outnumbered, Mr. Posner. You know me, Posner. You know my meaning. Drop him. I mean, he's got a repeater, so... If he's a good shot and you're not... Was that he was a half breed, a war hero who hated the war and turned his back on society by returning to the reservation, where he watched over the Indians, the wild horses, and the kids at my school. He's an all around good dude. My first instinct is to beat the hell out of you. You know that, don't you? But it probably wouldn't do any good, would it? Yeah, no kidding. Just make her want to leave again. I don't look well because I've got hepatitis and a goddamned abscess tooth that's killing me. You can't call the doctor and make me stay in the hospital. I know, but that's the only way to cure hepatitis. Not because of hepatitis, because of the baby. What baby? The it baby. I'm pregnant. You're what? Pregnant, hepatitis, and an abscess tooth. She's having a bad day. <laughs> sure she's had that for more than a day. Yeah, probably. Probably all three for a little bit longer than a day, huh? Where's the father? Where's the father? That's funny. I don't even know who the father is. Oh boy. She's been busy, huh? I got balled by so many guys, I don't know if the father's gonna be white, Indian, Mexican, or black. She got balled by so many <laughs> That's, a, that's an aggressive <laughs> statement. <laughs> Did he kill her? No, no. She ran away again. So you want to hide her out at the school, huh? Hmm? Yeah. At least until she gets well. I ain't going to no damn school. This isn't an ordinary school. It's a very progressive school out at the reservation. What is her father going to do when he finds out that she's out there? He thinks she ran away. Nobody here is going to tell him any different. Is he really going to care where she is anyways? You wouldn't think so. I mean, he kicked her ass. Yeah. What are they doing? Probably teaching some of the kids how to barrel race. Anything any kid wants to learn, they try to teach it to him here. I My dad used to barrel race. But you'd be a good barrel racer. Probably would have been. No drugs. Everyone had to carry his own load. And everyone had to get turned on by creating something. Whether it be weaving a blanket, or by getting involved in such strange things as yoga meditation. Keep your eyes focused on the third eye point. There you go, man. You fit right in. Yoga? I can't touch my toes. Yeah, meditation's not for me either. Must sleeping. Sleeping counts as meditation, right? No. It's, everybody sleeps. And all you have to do is come into the scene and discover who you are as the scene progresses. I can't. The reason I'm here is because I'm knocked up. <laughs> That's great. Hey, well, what's just do one about her being pregnant? That's great. <laughs> Congratulations! Welcome to improv. <laughs> okay. How about if the world's really fucked up and it really needs a new savior and she's going to give birth to it? Yeah, let's 
Interesting. She's giving birth to Jesus Christ. Love it. Except for <laughs> Mary would have never admitted to getting bald. bald. <laughs> By lots of men. <laughs> uh, that's because she didn't get bald. It's immaculate conception, obviously. She got bald by God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Carol wrote a new song about her brother, but she's too bashful to sing it. You let him sing it for us? Not want to. Oh, come on. Don't be so bashful. You sing so well. How are you funding this program? Who's funding this? Did she say that in her little... I'm just funding her. She's just not quite right. I guess she doesn't have any place else to go. She's pretty. This whole idea of doing your thing in the mess hall came from a visit somebody made to a Benedictine monastery. Something tells me the Benedictine monastery would not approve of this whole school situation, but... <laughs> I'll never forget that moment when the Shit. <laughs> wonder what's new in her world. Yikes. Everybody knew that song. I guess so. This girl loves Billy. Yeah, she's into him. But what good would it do? Lots of singing in this movie, huh? When will Billy love me? Well, have you played this song for him? Probably I'm not either. sure what the fuck this movie's about. I think it's going to be about that guy going to trying to find her da his daughter at that school and Billy's going to have to defend it. That's my guess. Freedom school. Apparently there's bloodshed. There's bloodshed in That's this? That's what the opening narration was. Hmm. When are you going to do something about those long-haired weirdos before or after they start burning their draft cards? Uh, he's waiting until some of our kids start going out there and smoking pot. Ain't you cold? No. As I finish my shine, I'm going outside and shoot three or four of them, show them who's boss. He could pick up that chick just like that, couldn't you, Bernard? Oh, are you kidding? Of course he could handle her. Can't you, Bernard? Just put up the money. <laughs> All right. Covered. <laughs> Bernie's what you call a pussy hound. Mm. My name is Bernard Posner. Oh, really? Is that supposed to mean something? Around these parts, you hear the name Posner quite a bit. It's very interesting. You know, you hear my name quite a bit. No fooling. What's your name? Up. Up yours. Is that her name? What's your last name? Yours. <laughs> Up. Yours. She looks familiar. I don't know why she looks familiar. You've never heard of Up Yours? No, no one else does, but she does. What, why, little Miss Up Yours? Your feels if, if she wants you to serve a non-white friends, well, you damn well better serve a non-white friends. That doesn't sound like an insurmountable problem. Hey, hey dinosaur, bring me some of that flour over there. simple solution is simply to make Miss Up Yours non-white friends white. That's no way to get to get the girl, Bernie. Come on, let's get out of here. You know, I'm always suspicious of you pacifist types. That it's just a fancy way of covering up that you're yellow. Please, this won't accomplish anything. We'll just leave. Oh, no. He's a lover, not a fighter. I'm gonna go tell your daddy. There now. 
Everybody is white. Uh oh, here comes Billy. <laughs> here comes Billy Jack. You're in, you're in our territory now. With a sheriff nearby. Bernard, the sheriff is out at the school. Go get my dad. Oh, God. Call my daddy. Kick his ass. Kick his ass, sea bass. When Gene and the kids at the school tell me that I'm supposed to control my violent temper, that when I see this girl of such a beautiful spirit, so degraded. So that girl, she just looks Italian. Like she's just got like an olive toned complexion. She doesn't. She, she might be part native. Could be. And I think of the number of years she's going to have to carry in her memory the savagery of this idiotic moment of yours. Yeah, no shit. I just go bizarre. Hi, kick. You heard? Get in your eyes? A lot of stupid people in this world aren't there. Huh? <laughs> mm, somebody's messing with his Jeep. Oh. Looks like some more guys want their ass kicked. Apparently. Go get my dad. Watch his feet, man. He can kill you with his feet. He can do anything he wants with his feet. <laughs> kill you with his feet? <laughs> you know what I think I'm gonna do then? Just for the hell of it. Tell me. I'm gonna take this right foot, and I'm gonna whop you on that side of your face. I thought he was gonna say, I'm gonna stick it right up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Ooh. He's a ninja. Ooh, that guy's hurt. He's a cowboy Indian ninja. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. So we gotta hit him. Dang. Alright. Let's everybody go home and take a hot bath. <laughs> now those guys are helping him. Aren't you gonna press charges? Against who? Well, not the shop owner. Yeah. It's probably like Press charges for what? The guy fell through my window. <laughs> Go get Jean. Uh oh. You better do something about her. Why? Well, her father suspects she might be out here. He'll probably come out here with a search party tomorrow looking for her. I want you to know that warrant isn't legal on reservation land, Jean. You don't have to let us search unless you want it. Cole? Whose side are you on? These people are holding this man's daughter illegally. Mm. No, she's mm -hmm. there by choice yeah. now. Hey kids, they don't really have a right to search here, but if it'll make them feel like big men, we're gonna let them go ahead, okay? So they already hit her. I like the sheriff though; he doesn't put up with anybody's shit. Big man poser took his rifle, defending mom and apple pie. So I offered him a fly. <laughs> Did she, is this on the spot or does she have a song about him already? Cole, I honestly don't know where she is. But if you did, you'd tell me. You know me better than that. <laughs> she doesn't know where she is, but she's not going to tell you if she knew. Can I talk to you just a minute, please? 
need to sing it. It's the only way you're breaking into this. Can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> I have a really important question. <laughs> Where's my daughter? She ran away. See? It's you're as simple it. as that. Yeah. Oh, cool. Very cool. Pueblos? No idea what those would be called. Super cool treehouse in the rocks. Ward unanimously votes to request the city attorney to seek a court injunction restraining members from the Freedom School from coming into town except on Saturday between the hours of noon and four o'clock and then only in groups of six, if you'd care to make a statement or ask a question affecting this matter. My statement is, I thought this was America. Morales. To speak to the resolution, it opposes not only the spirit, but the letter of the Constitution and many state and federal laws. And it's something that you all ought to consider before you even bother sending it to the city attorney. Yeah. I respect what Mr. Corrales said, and our intentions are really parallel with his. We would <laughs> like to preserve the peace. We would like to see the children unharmed, and we are passing this measure with that intent. He just doesn't want to get kicked in the face again. When's the last time you cut your hair? When's, when's the last time you brushed your teeth, <laughs> sir? <laughs> All that? right, now I want this meeting run orderly. Yeah, I mean, talk to your own, talk to your own councilman. <laughs> Are true. Oh man, this council sucks. Yeah, that's a way to earn respect. <laughs> you guys are stupid. I have another question for Mr. Posner. His, well, like this council here is always talking about law and order and things. Well, how come he kills stallions, which is against the law? I don't kill stallions, I make my son do it. <laughs> Because you're a filthy little girl. <gasps> so we should hold that guy in contempt. Censor him. <laughs> guy brought sex. I was like, "Where?" And you're out of order, Teresa. You want to speak? You will have your opportunity. Everyone in that room is behaving like children. There is no order. No shit. We have invited you to this council and, 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 and disrespected them. This is no more an example of what the school is like than it is for what the town is like. It is not important what the school and what is you're like. like yeah, you're all behaving like little bitches. Are you afraid? Come on out to the school and see us. Yes, I one am afraid. Will any of you come to the school and see us? Very well. Very well. I will Oh, I don't know, man. I don't really feel loaded, you know? You gotta cool it. There's a plain clothes car coming out of the intersection. Oh, come on, man. Straighten up and act normal. <laughs> you sure look weird when you're acting normal. <laughs> uh, no, I have an idea, though. Let's try something Would you open up? Oh. She gonna improv? Why don't uh, Kent, you be a mother, and Howard be a father, a family together, and Ed, why don't you be a sheriff, uh, Cole? Okay. And uh, uh, the two of them can be teenage children. They're of this family. <laughs> oh, I just can't do that. No, it is very easy. Uh, sheriff, why don't you arrest them for, say, marijuana, and then take them home to meet their parents and okay. explain the situation? You ready to be busted? <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana. Yes, sure. I want to thank you again for coming down. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have to. I, I, I know. I appreciate it. You see a Saturday night at the double. Sure. Good luck. Okay. Pink. Kid. Love from Marge. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, just, just sit down. Sit down. How can I sit just down? Just bend your oh. legs and sit. Now, just come on. <laughs> right now. Door. Right door. Right here. Right here. As long as you eat the clothes I give you and wear my food. Oh, 
show. If you ask me, I think you ought to put on a whole show. Invite the whole town. Let them know what you're doing up here. They had a blast. They had a great time. Improv is fun for everyone. <laughs> what is the snake ceremony? It's a ceremony where Billy becomes a brother to the snake. How does he do that? By going on the mountain and being bitten by the snake over and over. Then he passes into unconsciousness for the last time, and if he lives, he has a vision, and in this vision he finds out what his life's mission will be and who the spirit will be to guide Fucking him. Fucking risky. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Part, Billy has taken a secret herb medicine and been given a sacred poultice to put on the bites. Without oh, it, he would okay. die for sure. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> if you pass this test, then you will have a vision. Rattlesnakes are scary looking. They are just scary, period. Rattlesnakes are scary, period. <sighs> Seems like a horrible idea. Snake's like, this guy's hardcore. Think you'll be all right? Since there's like four more of these, I'm gonna say yeah. Okay. He's gonna be a hurting unit. He prevails. I guess this is vision. I could kill him. Yeah, sure you can, but not now, man. Let's get out of here and get some help. Yeah, we'll be back, but not with help. I'm gonna get him all by myself. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, Martin, you run and get the paint. We'll pick you up later, okay? Okay. See how you expect me to carry all the paint? Oh, oh my. you hang it from the top of your crutches. <laughs> hey. These guys work at the hardware store. Or are they hanging out there? Yeah, they get around. And if you help us get her out of there, you'll not only collect that big fat reward I offered. But you'll save someone's life. Like but if you fail to help us, as sure as this pipe is at your throat, you're going to be one hell of a dead Indian. You know, I think he's sweet on her. Didn't look that way to you, dinosaur. Yeah. Holding hands, kissing her. Ow. If you ever touch her again, I'm going to cripple your other leg. I don't mean the one you walk on, you hear? Oh, jeez. I mean, you should be thanking him if she's about to have a baby and he's into her anyways. We're going to do it by their rules, but we're going to do it with our attitudes. And what we want to do is to send six people, because that's as much as we can. Oh, they passed that? Give me all your money. Give me your money. Come on. I, I, right left, I left my wallet at home. Uh, you got any change? No, sorry. Uh, what's the briefcase? <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> I, as a spectator, felt nothing for you other than total embarrassment. <laughs> you are going to give a performance to the Rabi. Now, you've got no energy. You need a subtext. And theater is a place where you get your energy from the center, see, so that you can bring it out. It's a performance. See? Or at least make them think there are bullets in there. Did you think there were any bullets in the gun? Well, I wasn't very intimidated. <laughs> work that way you take the gun and you put a bullet in it you have that feeling of power that you plant in the back of your brain and you mix it with your energy so that when you come out here you come out a dynamo of robbery a man who's going to get respect as well as money i wouldn't put a bullet in the i know gun. so is that what happened with alec baldwin <laughs> too soon <laughs> too soon just had one bullet in there to give it the energy that he <laughs> It's not funny. Not funny. Now you just very slowly drop that gun down in the side. Put your hands up above your head. Is the sheriff in on it? I want you to no, man, no, absolutely not. You took your eyes off of me, and I'm the suspect. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? <laughs> Good idea. Okay, fine. We'll take it from the top. Yeah. Uh, okay, here. Okay. Here's your gun. Remember. <laughs> the sheriff energy. wasn't in on it. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got here? Three psychos? You're not even here yet. 
<laughs> okay, give me your money because I'm confused and I'll explode in any right, minute. I'm uh, <laughs> confused and I'll explode. <laughs> uh, great ideas. You stand right over <laughs> here, sir, and uh, you'll <laughs> see the whole thing right from the beginning. Oh, he's in on it. He's acting. Yeah. Okay, give me all your money right now or bad news. Money. All right, drop the gun. Uh, I think that gesture's a little too flamboyant. <laughs> Mesh is a unit. Oh, uh, uh, can I be the uh, robber this time? Sure, yeah, mix I it up. Everybody oh, always yes, taxes. No. <laughs> yeah, I, like, right. I, like to I get here. to be the sheriff. Tonight. Right. Uh, but I'm not here yet. No, you're not here. Okay, I'm going to warn you. If you drop the gun again, I'm going to mess up the briefcase. Fair is oh, fair. Fine. Sure, sure. <laughs> Don't. I'll match, and the kids are going to. All right, you. Interesting choice. <laughs> An Stick armpit. His armpit. <laughs> Don't move or I'll blow your arms clean off. Seems like more than groups of six. I think those are community members, not oh. members from the school. Oh, okay. They're observers. Where's Barbara? Please. I don't know where she is. I'd tell you if I knew I would, but I don't know where she is. Oh, jeez. Oh, you're fucked now, man. Hey, there's Billy Jack. Is he riding an Indian motorcycle? No, Triumph. Triumph. Posing as little monkey, just running around trying to get in all the bananas. Get your blouse and get out of here. Will you look? Probably. Go on, get your blouse. <laughs> At least he's honest about it. <laughs> what do I do? Teach him a lesson, but without really hurting him. How? Drive his stingray into the lake. Why don't you drive his car into the lake? <laughs> you know, that's not a bad thought for a pacifist. We have our days. If I was Bernard, I'd be like, no, just please kick my ass. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not the car. Which is it going to be? Drive your car into the lake or get a dislocated elbow? What do you mean, broken elbow? What are you, nuts or something? Hey, my old man's going to kill me if anything happens. Yeah, he just bought this car for me. I mean... Guess you ought to get your ass kicked then, huh? When I count to three, you drive your car in the lake. To make him do it. Run! It's a good thing it's a stinger. It should be waterproof, right? <laughs> Such a pretty car. I mean, a weird color, but a pretty car. Now, why didn't you drive away? I, I was scared. You were scared. <laughs> you were scared, so you drove a six thousand dollar automobile into the lake. Only six thousand dollars. <sighs> Back then, that was a lot. <sighs> Suppose we begin by pressing charges. What kind of charges? What can we prove that my son's an idiot? A stupid coward. What I else? told you, Stuart. I'll handle it. Or just let it go because your son's an idiot. Shouldn't you know instigate me more? Mm -hmm. How come you never tried to lay me? That's a stupid question. Don't cover up. Were you afraid of me? No, I'm not afraid of you. I do have hepatitis, so it's not ideal. But I know you want to, I can tell. How come you never tried? Because you've always been an anybody's. What's an anybody's? An anybody's is someone who puts out so she can get dates or be accepted. Six. I love you for yourself and for what you are. That's sweet. I'm the same way with you. <laughs> Not an anybody's. <laughs> the exact opposite of that, actually. <laughs> so rude. No, I like his style, though. What? I like his style. What style? His... his style? Yeah. Yeah. My mother left that to me. It was all she had. I want you to have it. Oh, he really likes you. 
Why is it when a guy hates his old man as much as I do, you still keep trying to do that one thing that he'll be proud of? What makes you think Billy's gonna be by here? I mean, he could be in Africa for all we know. Oh no. You better not shoot Gene. She naked. Just basking in the sun naked. One sound, one twitch of your eyelash. You Where's his shirt? He'd go and sunbathing as well. She's pregnant. It's not a great idea. Yeah, for all my bragging, I never really been able to go all the way with a girl. Now's not the time, sir. Honestly, <laughs> rotten bitch. Why would you try to kiss her if you're gonna rape her? Like, that's so disgusting. What do you expect her to fucking do? You know, part of me doesn't really want to do this. Then let's get out of here. Like, no fucking do it, you psycho. Dinosaur, you're not helping. It's an accomplice. Billy! Well, now there is a witness. I pray Billy kills him. You mustn't tell Billy, Cindy. Why not? Cindy will kill him. kill him. I am not gonna let that sick animal get away with this! I'm with her. If I can't really turn the other cheek when I can help the kids the most, then I couldn't endure what happened here today. Karma will get that kid. Gene's pretty strong. Yeah. There was a boy. Wait. We lost it. Dang. Dang. Looks a little like she gave birth to a beaver. What? It looks a little like she gave birth to a beaver. Yeah. I think it's just a blanket. I know. Don't let your mistakes crush you and keep you from trying to do the very best that you can. You could have gone inside and comforted that girl instead of sitting out here on the porch whining and feeling so sorry for yourself. <laughs> and the only reason they cremated it was to keep us from knowing that it was that Indian's kid. It was not an Indian. I told you, I handled it. It was a white fetus. You're a goddamn liar. She told you she got bald by lots of, <laughs> lots of guys, right? That was before she ever met him. Exactly. Too. Fucking psychos. What the hell? I can see this is going no place. I better find a new doctor. He's not serving them anymore as patients. Well, I don't think we ought to wait. Uh oh. We're gonna have like a Waco situation on our hands here. That guy's gonna bring his goons. Oh, well, the sheriff is there. I don't even want to know who any of you are. Now, the only trouble we're going to have here tonight is you trying to get past me. What do you want to do? We're about to kill the sheriff. Yep. Look, Gene, if I knew where they were holding, you might go there right away. But at this point, they don't trust me any more than they do you. I've been going back with you. He's right. As long as I stay here, anything can happen. And as soon as Martin's safe, I can split again. How old is she? Her? Yes, like, can, can we just, could she be 18 yet? Where is she? Where is she? Leave him alone. She can't pull that trigger. She just did. Martin, get in the truck. Okay, come on, get in. As soon as you're gone, it's all over with. Now go back to the school. I can't. Martin, please get going. Stingray 
recovered from being in the water, huh? Dad probably bought him a new one. That stingray went off that road? Oh no. I said, where is Martin? He got away. Hold it! You drop that gun or I'll shoot her. It'd be a bad look. I wasn't gonna hurt the little girl. You knew it all the time, didn't you, Buck? Mm. <gasps> oh no! They killed him? Billy Jack's not gonna stand for that. If I would have said something, Martin would have had to die. If you would have said what? If she would have told me that Bernard raped Jane. How did you know? I didn't. You just guessed. There's got to be a better way to change those people. To change those people? You worked with King, didn't you? Yes. Where is he? Dad. And where's Bob and Jack Kennedy? Dad. Not dead. Their brain's blown out. I don't care about all that. I just don't want you to go out and commit murder. It's not murder. It's justice. Exactly. An eye for an eye. Right? You kill them, they'll kill you back. <laughs> Is he drunk or just that bad of a shot? Ooh. Karate chop right to the throat. Did Billy Jack just get shot though? Yeah. He's got that rattlesnake blood inside of him now. What do you want to do? Go with you. Well, we can try it. Oh, he's bleeding. Is she got his daughter? He got a whole box of ammo. Right between the eyes. That was self-defense. All right, tell him I'll take care of it right away. No one else is like, wow, do you hear those fucking shots? It's like on the backside of that building. <laughs> um. You never tell me what's in that thing. Uh, it's my medicine bag. It contains my power. Without it, I'd be outside of the flow of life's forces. Like Samson without his hair? You got it. So he's immortal as long as he has that bag? Totally. I know I've never said it to you. But I think you know. I love you. I think you know, too. He loves her back. But will you go out with me? Well, her dad's dead now, so <laughs> problem removed. Being an Indian is not a matter of blood. It's a way of life. But she's a 15-year-old child who worships the ground you walk on. And now she's going to die needlessly because you haven't got the guts to control your temper. Bring in a helicopter? Easy for you to die dramatically. It's a hell of a lot tougher for those of us who have to keep on trying. I'm with Jean. She's got a point. Seems like an easy way out. Man. Besides, he's got a witness that this yeah. was all self-defense. He got shot by Bernard and then Cheeto chopped him right in the throat. Mm -hmm. And then Mike shot at him. Yeah. He's barricaded himself in the church. We've got to make every effort to take him alive. Is that no a, way. a flare gun? <laughs> oh, it's not shooting bullets this <laughs> big. It's like a <laughs> dynamite gun. <laughs> It's probably a smoke, a smoke, a smoke gun, right? Uh, okay. It's got a big, <sighs> yeah. It's got a big stock on it too. Where's the guy with the big gun? I don't see how this movie's gonna end well for Billy Jack.
What? Why would you just start shooting into the building? You can come out now. I don't think I can. She got shot. You let the doctors come in and get her. If you die, that'll kill Jean and school and everything she lives for. And if you love her, I don't see why you do that to her. This seems like it's been a really long movie. Yeah. It's all the singing. But you will get a fair trial. Because the whole world will have reporters here watching it. What about the school? Could we get enough money and freedom to run it for the next five years without interference? Well, they'd give you that in a minute. Yeah. It's a good deal. They'll do it. Why would they do that? So he turns himself in. If you have to go out, you might as well make it count for something. He's got to go to trial. Well, he can't very well die. Yeah, but no. Because he's The trial of Billy Drack is the next movie. Right. <laughs> And then Billy Jack goes to Washington. Yeah, it's got to make a difference. Even though he's dead, I couldn't tell you. Maybe if I had told you, Martin be, might be alive now. Well, there's a good chance that Martin's still be alive. She told Billy Jack. I didn't realize Billy killed Bernard with that karate chop, though. You didn't assume that? I thought he just, you know, incapacitated him. Washington says okay, Billy. I love you, Billy. You've got a deal. This movie's like... Feels, feels like it was heavier than it probably needed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Billy saved the school. Well, okay then. Alright. It's like a weird made for TV movie that was like really long and very serious. No, it wasn't a TV movie though. Nope. nope. Just felt like it. Yeah. All I gotta say is Jean was one strong lady. Totally. So, I feel like she was the real hero of this. Okay. But yeah, this is pretty heavy. I have like very little to say about it, honestly. Yeah. I thought it was going to be a little bit more action packed, but it's a little more dramatic, a little action here and there. Yeah. All I gotta say is Bernard was a dipshit. Yeah. There's a lot of horrible human being characters in this. Yeah. Just sad that Martin had to die. Definitely. Poor guy. Yeah. He was just an innocent guy, a nice guy. Just wanted Barbara to be happy. Mm-hmm. You know, he was going to be a good dad to Barbara's kid, too. If totally. Give him a chance. Huh. Hmm. I wonder what the first movie's about. Because this is the second Billy Jack movie. Oh, there's... <laughs> Why there's a movie. Watch the second one. There's a movie called The Born Losers, and I think Billy Jack is just one of the characters in 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 The Born the Losers. Like it's group like a gang. of Born Losers. I think he's a part of a bike gang or something. Mm. Hmm. Maybe this was a TV movie. I, don't know. I mean, didn't it just feel like it? It kind of did. But that's the. 60s and 70s for you. Everything. Like Revolution. Low budget. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, Western it was still all kicking. so like heavily politicized. Yeah. Honestly, if anything, like all those kids, like what? We got to try to keep kids, kids for as long as possible. Yeah. No kids should have to worry about those things or think about those things or... Hell, know that those things even happen. Keep them innocent. Keep yeah, them safe. Kids deserve to just be kids. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, that's a good statement. That's all I got. All right, well, what should people comment on after Billy Jack? 
Anyone ever actually seen this before? Yeah. <laughs> this? He was a huge Billy Jack trilogy fan. And then, what's the Born Losers about? Did we miss out on a good one? Watching this one second, but Probably this was the one that was requested. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I was looking it up. I was like, wait, there's a movie before this. Maybe we should watch that. And then it said like Billy Jack was them perfecting the character better than the Born mm-hmm. Losers. So I didn't know what the movie was about. Other than that, yeah. But. So yeah, let us know all your Billy Jack f- facts. If there are any. Yeah. Anything else? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to the Dudester for his final pick. Yeah, thank you, Dudester. Okay. Thank you for all the movies you requested over the last Absolutely. Month, couple months. So, If you want to be like the Dudester, check out our Patreon link down below. You can also get early access for the next. Tools helps people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.